Jesus. I thank God and I, I praise God for you, those who have joined prayer line, periscope, and Ustream. Everything is turned on. So uh, I could ask you to listen and participate. This is how they come and attack the, when I start the meeting, they start calling. Yes, I praise God so much. I once again welcome you. Welcome, 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 welcome in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I'm going to talk to you. Fasting is a tremendously weapon sources, source of power. Fasting is a tremendously weapon and a source of power. Fasting is a source of power. Fasting is a weapon. If you want to know that the weapon, the powerful, powerful weapon is fasting. First of all, I want to welcome you to Valentine. Happy Valentine. Happy, happy Valentine to everyone. All the family of overcomers, deliverance and healing ministry. I welcome you and wish you happy, happy Valentine. I was sharing with some people during the day, I told them, love yourself. Love God as you love yourself. So love yourself. Some people, they don't love themselves. So they, they reject themselves, they feel like they are nothing. Love yourself. Love yourself. You might not have someone to love you or to buy you the red flowers or whatever, take you out. Love yourself. Buy yourself a flower. Congratulate yourself. Tell yourself, I, I love you. So don't worry. Don't be miserable and, and stay miserable, sad, because you have nobody to love you. Ah, this Valentine, Jesus loves you. God loves you. God loves you so much. God loves you. God loves you so much. Jesus loves you. Angels of God are surrounding you. You don't know what you have. So don't, 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 don't worry about yourself. Yes, thank you, Holy Spirit, that reminded me to, to wish you happy Valentine. Those who have their sweetheart, they can go out and be happy and enjoy and love. If you have children, love your children. Love each other, love yourself. Don't worry that you need someone, you, you feel bad, sad when you see people are walking too, too, you, you are alone, you are, you are single. Don't worry, God is with you and, and Jesus is on your side. So therefore, love yourself. Once again, I wish you happy, happy Valentine. Thank you very much and God bless you. Let me go back to my topic. The topic is fasting is a tremendously weapon and a source of power. It's a source of power. Therefore, I'm going to read to you the book of Second Chronicles, Second Chronic Chronicles 20. Second Chronicles 20, verse 1 to 30. Let me see. I'm going to jump some verses because it is a wrong one. So I'm going to look at the points, only the points that we will look at it. Uh, there, there was a, a very serious uh, problem that uh, came to Judea when King George party was a king. As the people stood together, began before the Lord, the Spirit of God came upon Jezebel and began to prophesy. God spoke through him, revealed their enemy's plan. So, this was a problem that came to Judea during the time of King Jehoshaphat. And if you look at the, the, the Bible, Second Chronicles, 20 verse 1 to 30, but I will jump, I'm not going to read everything. Jehoshaphat programs a fast. When there was a problem, Jehoshaphat didn't know what to do, but instead he called fasting. It came to pass after this also that the children, the children of Moab and the children of Ammon 
with, the, with them other beside Ammonites came against Joah's party to battle. These are the children of Ammonites and the Ammon. They came to fight Joah's party. Then they came, some that told Joah's party, saying, they, they come a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea on this side, Syria, and behold, they be Asylon, Tamar, and, and which is Jada. And the Chospad feared, and set himself to seek the Lord, and program a fast throughout Judea. When Jehoshaphat had this, he feared, his, his fear came upon him. He didn't know what he's going to do. He was attacked. He feared. Now, he called fasting. He called a fast because that is the only weapon he had. He didn't know what to do. Four nations coming to attack a little nation. So Jehoshaphat said, even if I have a weapon, it is difficult, it is impossible to defeat this army. They were having some weapon. The Bible calls that they were having very strong weapon that make Jehoshaphat, the king of Judea, feared. The Bible says, And Judea gathered themselves together to ask help to, the, to, to, to God. Even out of all the cities of Judea, they came to seek the Lord. And the church party stood in the congregation of Judea and Jerusalem, in the house of the Lord, before the new court. And they said, O Lord, God of our fathers, not the God in heaven, and the rulers not that over all the kingdoms of the heathen, and in the hand is there not power and might, so that none is able to withstand thee, and not thou, our God, who did drive out the inhabitants of this land before the people Israel, and gave it, it to the seed of Abraham, the friend forever. And they did, and they dwell there in, and have a built the sanctuary therein for the name, saying, if when evil come upon us, as the sword judgment or pestilence or famine, we stand before this house and in the presence, for the name is in this house, and cry unto thee in our affliction, then thou will hear and help. And now behold, the children of Hammon and Moab and Mount Sel, whom thou hast not let Israel in part when they come out of the, the land of Egypt, but they turn from them and destroy them not. Behold, I say, I say how they reward us. Come to cut us out of the possession which thou hast given us to help. O our God, will thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company that come against us. Neither know we what to do, but our eyes are upon thee. And, and the Judea stood before the Lord with their little ones, their wives, and their children. Then upon Jehanel, the, the son of Zachariah, the son of Bethaniah, the son of Jerah, the son of Matthiah, a Levite, a Levite of the sons of Asaph, came the Spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. And they said, How can ye, O Judea, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou king Jehoshaphat, that says the Lord unto you, Be not afraid or dismayed by the reason of this great multitude, for the battle, for the battle, is not yours, but God is. Tomorrow go he down against them. And behold, they came up by the craft, the craft of Seth. 
and ye shall find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of, of Jethro. Je, Je, you shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourself and stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judea and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed to the tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all Judea and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fall before the Lord who worship the Lord. Now, you see, after Jehoshaphat feared so much about how his country is being attacked by four nations, four countries, he called prayer and fasting. The Bible says that if they fast all, all their wives, all the little ones, everybody fasted because they, there was a, a there was a there was a war. And the only key, the only weapon they knew is fasting. So after the fasting, the prophecy came to these children, the the, 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 the prophecy came to to Jesenair, this yes. Jezel, who prophesies and is telling them that don't worry, don't fight. Now, as you see, as the people stood together before the Lord, the Spirit of God came upon Jezebel, and he began to prophesy. God spoke through him, revealed their enemies' plan, and directed their action. God promised to fight for them and to give them the victory in the battle. So you see, the Lord told them, don't fear. Don't fear. Don't fear. This is what the Bible says. After this is, don't fight. The Lord is going to fight, fight for you. The battle, the battle is not yours. It is God's. So the weapon prayer and fasting, it, made, it moves the heart of God, and it makes God to appear to help because you know these people they prayed they said like if evil as evil has entered in this house lord and they, they remind god of his covenant with abraham they call abraham the friend of god so jehoshaphat remember everything about how god promised abraham he prayed that in this century in this altar god let these people not succeed that's how you pray for any problem that you are facing. Don't let the problem to overtake you. Just focus as we do this prayer and fasting. Today we are day 8 and we've been focusing on prayer and fasting. I ask you to write down 21 things to pray over everyone every day. Therefore, and we have the book that we follow. If you have not ordered the book, it is your time now to order the, the book. And uh, uh, you can give any uh, donation of any amount to receive this book. Therefore, you know, fasting is a weapon. Now, when the prophecy came and they, 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 was, they were told, don't fear, don't be afraid. The battle is not yours. It belongs to God. And God will fight for you. Have your peace. And then Joseph kneeled down, bowed down his head, facing on the, grow, on the floor. And they prayed. And after that, he called the children, the choir. Now he called the choir to start praising God and dancing and giving God glory. The Bible says uh, in verse 20, Joseph defeated Judea's enemy. And they rose early in the morning and went forth unto the wilderness of, the, of Torah. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judea, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall he be established. Believe also, prophets of, so ye shall prosper. Now he ensured the children of Judea, believe the prophets. Believe what the prophets have said, so that you will prosper. The Bible says, and when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord, and that should press the beauty of holiness as they went out before the army, 
and to say, Praise the Lord for his mercy endure forever. And when they began to sing and praise the Lord, said ambushment against the children of Ammon, the children of Moab, and Mount Seir, which were, came against Judea, and they were smitten. They were smitten. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against habitants of Mount Seir, utterance to stay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the attention of Sarah, everyone helped to destroy another. You see, everyone helped to destroy another. That is fasting weapon. They turned themselves and they started killing themselves. They started fighting themselves. Let every enemy who is troubling you, let them start fighting themselves. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that Almighty God, let it, let it turn against the enemy that is fighting you to start fighting themselves in Jesus' name. Here is the enemies. who There were three nations. There were three nations. And they were fighting the little nation called Judea. Now, after that, before, Jehoshaphat was afraid like anybody, like a human being. You can, be, you can fear. Fear will come and you will think, what can I do? Now, immediately, uh, Jehoshaphat noticed that the only weapon I have is prayer and fasting. And that is what he did. The Bible tells us that after he called all the wives and children, their wives and children, the little ones, they pray and fasting. And the Bible says they went to their nails and prayed. And you see the prophecy came upon the, the prophets, those three people who prophesied to them and told them, don't worry, don't fear, don't be afraid. Tomorrow you will see the Lord is going to fight for you. Any problem that is worrying you, anything that is standing against you, the Lord Almighty is going to fight for you. And you will have the peace. The peace of God will fall upon you. You have the weapon. That's why you need to pray and fasting. You can fast. You can declare a war. If you are looking for something, if you are really sincerely you are looking, this is deliverance and healing ministry. You will see the deliverance. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you so much. You will see the deliverance of your salvation. Because this is the weapon that we have. You might not have money. You might not have any power. You might not have anything. But when you raise up a panel, when you raise up altar of prayer, of prayer and fasting, things will change. That is what God honor than anything else. When you, you set yourself, you want to sacrifice to seek the face of God. You don't have to fight physically. Our weapon is not for our flesh and blood. Is to go in the spiritual realm as they go to spirit, and you pray God, you you sacrifice yourself, you will face, you will win. No power, no weapon formed against you will prosper. That's when the scripture works. You see, many weapons formed against you is prospering. Sickness is in your body. That is a weapon that's prospering your body. You cannot defeat them because. The Bible says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper, but it is prospering. It has taken your wife, it has taken your husband, it has taken your children, it has taken your money, it has, taken, it has invested you with sickness. So those weapons are working in your life. Therefore, the Bible is not contradicting what it says. The word of God is alive, and the God himself is a word. So anything, any word of God is in this book. It is alive and it will never fail. It will never be changed. It's unchangeable God. God is so faithful. And the God Almighty, He never fails. He has done great things. Jesus said, if you believe in me, you will do great things. Believe in me. Jesus has given us power and authority. And He has told us, go, preach the gospel. Go and cast out demons. Heal the sick, set them free. Because there is no weapon formed against them shall prosper. But you read the weapon formed and they prosper in your family, in your life, in your children. Therefore, I am speaking to you tonight by the power in the blood of Jesus. Any weapon formed against you prosper in your life. I command them to study destroying themselves in Jesus' name. 
In the name, you have power. You have the weapon right now. The weapon of prayer, of fasting. That is the weapon you need to destroy any weapon formed against you. Let it go to the kingdom, let it go to the camp of the enemy and destroy them in Jesus' name. Let your enemy turn to themselves and start killing themselves. Let your enemies turn to themselves and destroy themselves according to the word in the book of, of Second Chronicles, whereby the enemies turn themselves and start helping each other to kill themselves. Let your problem die. Let your problem be, be hung and crippled in Jesus' name. Let your problem somersault and die in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you very much, my friend. Let your enemy somersault and die in the name of Jesus Christ. You have been suffering a lot and you don't know what you are doing. You, you, you start, do not worry, do not be afraid of any situation you are facing now. Take the altar of, of prayer and fasting. The prayer and fasting is a big key you have right now to lock out the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Why did Jesus went to pray 40 days, day and night? Jesus, the son of the living God. Because Jesus understood the weapon is prayer and fasting. After 40 days, Jesus didn't go to pray again. He started choosing his disciples, his followers. He went to choose his followers. And when he was with his disciples, even some, some were asking, why can't your disciples pray and fasting? Jesus told them, don't worry, the time will come when they will fast even 100 days. Yes? Jesus was a good example to us. So, when you want to know that Jesus' work, uh, the miracle of, of, of fasting is powerful, pray and fasting. The, the prayer and fasting is the source of power where you can tap the power of God. It's, it's, it's how you can, you can activate your prayer. You need, in the morning, the videos is not on, but I'm going to download now after this. The video of the, of the morning, you have to view it and listen again and, and again. How to receive the power of Holy Ghost. I'm telling you that when you have this weapon, no powers, no demon of hell that will, will come to you and succeed. The demons are attacking you all the time. They, 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 they don't fear you. They come and attack you, attack you all the time. Because you need weapon of fasting and prayer. You need the weapon. You need the fire to fall upon you in Jesus' name. The weapon that you have is prayer and fasting. There is no way the demon will succeed in you. There is no way that the power, the, the enemy will cast you, then the curse will work on you. You have, Jesus has given you power to cast out the, the demons. To command them to get out of your life. The demon has not been given power. They are working by the power in the, in the name of Lucifer. They don't use Jesus Christ. They don't have God. They use Lucifer. You, this, you use Lucifer. The, the, the devil is under your feet. Remember, Jesus, I, I said you will tremble upon him. In serpents and scorpion and nothing shall hurt you. But you see, you can't do that. You are being attacked, they attack you, they, they trample on you. They, they, they put you on, the, on, on, on their feet. That's how it is. They give people some big, big rod. They cut the rod. I pray that God Almighty will destroy every enemy that is working against you. Every power of darkness that is working against you, let the fire of God destroy them. Let Almighty God visit them and destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, after this, you see the children of God, of, 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 of Judea, you see now prosperity is declared because this nation was pressing the people of Israel, the people of Judea, that they were not able to prosper. Now, Joshua told them that if you believe the prophets, you will prosper. And they believed the prophets. Now, these people, when they were, they killed themselves until they finished themselves. The Bible says, the children of Israel went unto the battle, singing, praising, praises to God. 
He fought for them and destroyed their enemies. They were so much wealthy among the spoils of the war that it was took them them three days to gather it as a, as 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 you face financial problems i will release an offering of praise i believe that god will di divine in uh, intervene deliver you from financial bondage when judea came towards this watch tower in the wilderness they looked unto the multitude, and behold, there were dead bodies fall to the earth, and none escaped. None escaped. All of them fall down and die. Nobody escaped. And when Josephus and his people came to take away the spoil of them, they found among them in abundance both witches with the dead bodies and precious children which they stripped off from themselves more than they could carry away and they were three days gathering of the spoils it was so much now the enemies because the bible says the lord will transfer the wealth of the gentiles the wealth of the enemies after the enemy killed themselves they had some wealthy some money some fight some money so the people of Jehoshaphat, the people of Israel went and beat for three days. There was a lot and they prosper, and they, prosper. they become so rich, they become so wealthy. So after you do the prayer and worshiping, prayer and fasting, it is not only that your enemy will be deleted, also you will be free from financial bondage. You will be blessed by financial breakthrough. You will be, be promoted. Your money will be increased. Your enemy that has been swallowing your money will be formative them. They will be increased after the prayer, after the fasting. Your enemy has been defeated. Your enemy who has been holding your finances has been defeated. That is how it has what happened. It took them four, three days to pick up the wealth from the enemy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. God is so good. God is almighty oh God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The enemy that was sitting on the children of Israel, they make them poor. They make them live in poverty life. The Lord fight for them and they kill themselves. Everybody, no one escaped. They died, all of them. That's what the enemy will do. Let your enemy, all of them, die in the name of Jesus. Every power that is working against you, let them be destroyed themselves and die in Jesus' name. Let your enemy die and leave their wealthy and, 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 and their uh, property into your hands in Jesus' name. Enemies are bad. They, are, they oppress you. They take everything from you. Now the time is up that they will die and leave them in the name of Jesus. The, the man who, who is taking your wife, the wife... The, the, the wife who is taking your wife, your, your husband, let them be scattered and be lent of powerless. You should not let them to choke with you. You are a child of God. Call me, I will stand with you and pray with you. I will give you fire prayer to fire them and destroy them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Don't wait until the enemy to, to use their weapon to, to, to destroy you. You have weapons. Weapon of prayer and fasting. You have the word of God. Use the word of God. The Lord will fight for you. He is a, a, a man of war. He is a consuming fire. There is some prayers that need fire. There is some prayers that need, uh, need the weapon of mass of destruction. Some people you know the prayer using the blood of Jesus, using the name of Jesus. There are 120 weapons that you can use to stop your enemies completely permanent in the name of Jesus. My God, my Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your people, God, my Father. Empower them, God. Empower them, God. Give them the power to fight the enemies. My God, I thank you. I bless your name. I give you the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, I am speaking to the sickness, diseases. Anyone who is suffering from any diseases, I command them to die in the name of Jesus. If you are 
if you are having financial problem, I pray that God Almighty will meet your needs in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of poverty, spirit of poverty, I am speaking to you. I command you to die. Start killing yourself and get out of your people. Get out of these people in Jesus' name. Anything that is working against you, let it be destroyed in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank God for you that you will be set free and prosper in the name of Jesus. Your health will be restored back in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank God tonight that God Almighty will visit you in a special way. He will fight for you. You don't have to worry. You don't have to cry. You don't have to fear anything. Don't be afraid. The Lord Almighty, Jehovah, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Jacob will fight for you. Stand still and receive the salvation of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you very much. God bless you so much. Have a good night. Enjoy your Valentine and have and see you tomorrow, 8 o'clock. This is your host, Leverend Dr. Christine is saying bye-bye to you. Remember to go to our website, www.overcomersdhministry.brockford.ca. You can also call my number if you need prayers. Call me. You, I have 800 number. The number is 877-241-3420. You can reach me, extension 101. This is a free number if you don't have long distance. You can reach me seven you can reach me eight seven seven two four one three four two zero extension one oh one. This is a free line. You can call me and you reach me. I will stand with you and pray with you. If you have not ordered a book for prayer and fasting, go to our website. Donate an amount, I will email you the book. The book is very powerful. People tell me that this book is, is very powerful than the other books that I have ever written. So therefore, enjoy this book and the book itself, when it is on your hand, it is a weapon itself. Therefore, people of God, I pray that God will see you through in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much and, 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 and I'm, I'm saying bye to you. Enjoy yourself. Bye bye. Thank you. I love you. And there's nothing I can say about it. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you. Thank you for the heart. Thank you. Thank you, Frida. Thank you.